In fact, our friend, who, by the way, wanted me to say hello, Rick Rubin, turned to a good friend of mine who's the chair of neurosurgery of a major depart medical school department, not Stanford, I promise, and said, what percentage of the things in medical textbooks, okay, this is Rick asking this chair of neurosurgery, okay, yeah. what percentage of things that you find in medical textbooks, basic and advanced, do you think are false based on your understanding of what we actually know now compared to when the textbooks were written? And he said, 50%. And then he's, and then Rick said, and yep. And then Rick said, oh. I, I know I was wide eyed too. And then Rick said, and what is the extent of impact on treatment of patients modern day? And his answer was one word incalculable. Oh my God. 50% 50% in currently used medical textbooks, meaning that the literature has been updated with new understanding, new scientific papers, but it has not yet been incorporated into the medical but, education. But let me, let me say something. Because I know that bears have insane senses of smell that are many times stronger than a bloodhound's and uh, famously can smell people from 100, 200 yards away. Like, th there's got to be levels to it. And I just can't imagine that a bloodhound doesn't have a better sense of smell than a person. 